similar to reading a file. Writing a file in Python is very simple. We go through three main steps. In fact, it's the three main steps that we did in reading a file. We're going to open our file. We're going to process and do something with it. And we're going to close our file. The difference is in the processing is instead of reading the data out of it, we're going to push data into it. Let's take a quick look at how we're going to put data into a file. First, I'm going to define our function for main. And now I'm going to open up my file. I'm going to call this variable out file because we're going to output data to the file. And I'm going to specify W or the write mode. With our write mode, we're going to override any data that we might have inside of our existing file, if it exists. If the file doesn't exist, we're going to create that file. So here we've created a couple of inputs. This will get us a way to get information in. And then we're going to specify outfile.write. This is going to write information to our file. We're writing F name and we're writing L name. Finally, we're going to close our file. We're going to call our function main, go to our console window, and call our Python file. You'll notice that we input the data, but we don't get any output. That's because a file was created. So we're going to open up this file real quick. Now, we've opened this file inside of our Notepad++. And one thing you might notice right away is that writing writes data exactly as it is. It doesn't put any spaces after. It doesn't create a new line. So we're going to add that. Go back into my file. And I'm going to concatenate a new line character by using my escape n or backslash n to the end of my f name. Copy and paste and do that with l name as well. I'm going to save my file, switch back to my console, run this again. Once again, you don't see anything happen. I'm going to come back to my Notepad. And when I click on my data.txt tab, you'll notice it's going to say that this has been modified by another program. Do I want to reload it? Yes. And you'll notice that the Bob Smith, which was all on one lane, is now replaced with Bob Smith being on separate lines. This is because when we open it with a W, we did an append the data, we removed the existing data, wrote over top of it. So in saving my file, I've gone ahead and made some changes. I've changed this file to output to salary.txt, and I'm putting an A in my value. My A in my value is just there because I'm going to append data. We have here, enter the employee's name. Now I want to pull in some random numbers. So to do this, I'm going to import my random module. And I'm going to give a random int. Now I'm going to go to write this data. I'm going to write employee. And give it a backslash n. And now I want to write my salary. The problem is salary is a number, and I must convert this to a text. So you specify write just like I normally would, but I'm going to make two minor changes. First, I'm going to add a dollar sign in front. That's because it's not currently specified. I'm going to concatenate this with my number, but I'm going to convert my number to a string. So I'm going to use the str command. And this is going to convert some number, whether it's an integer or float, or another value, into a string. You can kind of think of this as almost the opposite of like our int or float functions, which take a string 
and convert it into a number. Add a new line character. And finally, close my file. Go back to my console window. Run my file. You don't see any information here. So I'm going to open this up real quick. And my information is stored, as you can see here, inside of my file. So let me go ahead and run this again and see what happens. In fact, I'm going to run it just a couple more times. Now, I've read this four times. We've seen the first time with Bob, and we see its information. If I come back to Notepad++, I see something semi-familiar asking me to reload it. I click on Yes, and you notice a huge difference. That being that instead of deleting the data as we saw previously, we now see each new person that was entered in, we see their information inside of the sorry.txt file. That's the power of the append. It also shows you how to use the string command to convert our numeric data into a string and how we can concatenate that with other pieces of information to start formatting the way that we find best.